<laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get a three for. Thought I heard a spider. Die, spider. Junk turrets are useful things, aren't they? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snowbomb Survival Series, where we play seven days on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome, generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. So, we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode, pretty much. Uh, we did the Academy in the last episode, and we got some pretty good stuff. Uh, we, the main thing we were after in there was the puffer jacket, which we did not find. Uh, but we did find a beanie, uh, a couple of beanies actually, and we found some other good things uh, too. So um, the plan is still, the overriding plan is still to head north and look for uh, the desert biome, which is supposed to be somewhere in the, in the middle of the map-ish. But I just, I, I don't think I want to leave that shotgun messiah uh, without looting it. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> It's right there, and uh, you know, if nothing else, we'll, we should all, we'll almost certainly get some more ammo. So we're going to go ahead and do Shoddy Messiah. Uh, I went ahead and unloaded a bunch of stuff in here for now, and um, I'm, we're going to we're going to drink this coffee right now because we do need a little bit of food and a little bit of um, um, stamina there. I also bought this from the vending machine in the school because look what it, it actually gives 30 plus 30 cold resist. My goodness. That's uh that's a lot. And so we're gonna keep it in here and then when we set out on our journey, we're gonna we're gonna actually take that with us. But that that's huge. I, I mean I, I knew this was good stuff and I you know I, I do use it, but I just never really paid attention to the cold part of it because you know, well, now we're playing on the snowbound, so we're much more um conscious of <laughs> <laughs> of the weather of the cold in particular so all right so let's um make sure everything is loaded we are um just gonna break in here i don't see any larry's around um at least not on this side let's go kind of look around the other side of the building but we're pretty much going to do the same thing that we did with the tool store where we're just gonna you know try and pull them to the front door and bust them up through there assuming there's no larry's around if there are, then we got to take care of the Larrys first, of course. Don't see any Larrys that way. We have a... What is that store? That looks like a Shotgun Messiah too, like a smaller version. I do believe it is. How about that? Two Shotgun Messiah stores right next to each other. What do you know? Um... I wonder if it would be easier for us to enter through the back. I mean, we're going to have to fight our way in regardless. Oh, there's Bell's Bakery. That place is actually really easy to get to the good loot. Uh, all right, so if we break in through the back here... This... Yeah, this goes into the back storeroom. Uh, then there's like a, a firing range in there and then another room with some lockers. Actually, that's right, there are some lockers in there where we could potentially... Uh, find another puffer coat So yeah, why don't we why don't we go ahead and try and break in through here Let's get those out of the way Just trying to see how this is gonna if we set this down here uh, How it's gonna set yeah, that should work. Okay. All right, well, let's make some noise. Let's check one more time, make sure there's nobody behind us. Doesn't look like it. All right, here we go. Okay, we'll let this guy... Break the block and then we'll sledge him. We want to be, we want to be quiet. I don't want to use my guns any more than I have to. You know, plus, you know, one of the reasons why we're going in here is to get more ammo anyway. So I don't want to expend the ammo that 
you know, just to, to get the same amount back when it's all said and done. Come on, Baldy. There we go. Ooh, there's a there's a forge in there. Is there always a forge in this Shaka Messiah? I never noticed that before. Okay, let's um break this. Yeah, it'll be faster probably to use this. Maybe. All right, so what we're gonna do is set up uh, just some wood frames here. Because this is a pretty defensible room here. I mean, that's... Oh, that's only wood. What about this? That's only wood, too. That's not wood. So anything coming from the outside, though, does this... Does this go into, like, a bathroom or something? Surprised that that's wood. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, here, let's, uh... Let's take advantage of this situation and kill the zombies in there, too. She hit us. We killed her. That's a good trade-off. All right, uh, let's see. We're kind of hurt, not bad hurt. So let's take one of these. And I took um, Healing Factor, right? Okay, let's let Healing Factor get those points back for us. Okay, that takes care of this room. Let's get the crates in here. How about a schematic? Oh, darn it. Okay, well, we'll take the stone. We'll take the stone. And let's break these guys open. There we go. Shotgun upgrade. Beautiful. Uh, leather hood. Nah, I'm leaving that stuff there. Um, that sells for 43. Those sell for 120. This would sell for a decent price if we fixed it up, I guess. So we'll take it. Another leather hood. All right, you know what? I think I think we might have leather in our drop box. So let's just uh, scrap those. I'm not gonna take scrap iron for now, though. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's go, let's go ahead and actually come out through this way. Um, we want to get ready with the thing if, uh, actually here, yeah, let's put that there. I did want to confirm that that is, in fact, better. Plus, it's got another slot, too. Excellent. Okay. Let's poke our head out here and see what's going on. Okay. We should be able to sneak shot this guy. Um, what should we do? Should we make some noise and attract some more over here now while we still have the block in place, or should we go out there? I'm kind of thinking, since we're already set up here, let's make some noise. Okay, so that got the attention of a few more. Good. Three more to be precise. Oh, 
Okay, so we most most likely have the front room clear now. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, there still could be Zekers on the far side of the building. So let's make sure it's clear first before we start looting. Okay, I don't see anybody down there. Don't see anybody up there. It did sound too like uh, when we aggroed those zombies, they came from this side of the store. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, I think we're clear. Let's go all the way up to the front and double check the front. Just make sure nobody's like behind a counter or something. All right, so I think we're in good shape. And we still have the the front of the building completely intact in case, you know, we attract a Larry or something from outside. Okay, let's get the back room um, cleared too, and then we'll loot. Decreases melee stamina usage by 10%. That is actually going to be worth putting on our sledgehammer because of the stamina buff. Uh, we're going to give up a little bit of damage. I mean, this has like a knockdown or a stun option, but the sledgehammer it has that built into it inherently anyways. So yeah, that'll help a little bit with our, our stamina cost. So that was a pretty nice find. Oh yeah, okay, so helmet light mod, junk and green junk turret and ammo. That's what we're looking for. Alright, very good. So we finally have a helmet light mod. Let's take a look and see. Um what oh shoot, okay. Dang, we need to find a green uh no, we need to find a blue helmet. Right? No, yeah, a blue to get three spot slots. <sighs> wow, what do we want? I don't know. We're going to give up three cold resist if we take this off. Uh, but And would give up a storage spot for this. So, I don't know. Uh, let's just hang on to that for now. Let's just hang on to it for now. And we'll decide, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll be in a situation. In fact, we're kind of in that situation now where, you know, when we're not cold, like we're indoors, we can swap them out. But when we're outside, there we go. You know, then we flip them around. At least until we can find a helmet that gives us another slot. Okay, so we are uh, massively <laughs> overloaded here, uh, but that's uh, that's pretty good stuff. And you know we can make the chili dogs, of course. So that's why I got the chili. So let's um, at least open everything else up so you can see what's here, and then I'll probably have to come back. Look at that hobo stew recipe. Okay, we'll take a hobo stew recipe. Sure, we will. Why not? Let's 
this I think this is the last crate, right? Uh, maybe there's one back in the corner too. All right, we already have some of that stuff. I'm just gonna sell it. All right, I guess that's it, guys. I guess that's it for this shoddy messiah. There, there is usually like a oh, there is one more. Uh, there is usually like a bag up on the roof that we could go after, but we'll have to fight a couple, one or two Zeeks in the process. Um, we have leather. Yeah, let's scrap that, and I'm not, not even going to mess with those. Oh, we didn't check this cabinet. Oh, we need the money. Uh, what would we give up for? Do, now, do we... Do we need this? Because, see, the cowboy hat mod's going to give us pretty good protection. Where did it, Where is it at? Okay, okay. So that's going to give us 13 heat resist. That only gives 9. Yeah, we don't even need this at all. Let's just scrap that. Okay, that frees us up one slot. And uh, now we can take the money. Okay, I think that's it for this shotgun messiah. So overall, not too bad. We we got a, an improved junk turret and an improved shotgun and some more ammo. So I uh, can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. All right, I'm going to go back to our, uh, our drop chest and unload and then decide what we're going to take on our journey uh, to the north. Unless, should we just hit that other shotgun messiah too? I mean, it's right there. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I still got to unload. All right, I'll meet you guys over at the smaller shotgun messiah. All right, somehow or another, Larry noticed us. Might have been uh, from the cars, the car looting. That's probably what it was. He was probably just right over there. Uh, and we opened the car and he came over here. But uh, last mistake he'll ever make, right? Okay, so I've just, just been kind of looting cars. Haven't found anything really spectacular. We did find a wire tool and some uh, steel tool parts. Uh, so we did that. Um, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll go around the back again, just like we did uh, before. So let's do that. They're already freaking encumbered before we even get inside the building. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes, though? Isn't that the way it goes? Okay, let's get rid of this. In case we need to place a block there. So he's going to do the door, is he? All right. Let's just go ahead and set that down then. Since those guys are pretty do quite a bit of damage. We don't yet have the the skill that lets us get twofers with a, a power strike. I forgot to go up on the roof of the other place. Let's just check this roof out. Come on down. Oh, that guy's inside. Okay. Well, here, let's uh, not worry about him right at this second. I'm sure there's no Larrys behind us. All that effort for a stupid can. All right, forget it. Let's just leave her up there. I don't think we need to worry about her. And if I'm wrong about that, then we'll kill her. All right, let's go inside. And we'll reblock this. I think this door's closed, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So let's deal with this guy. Let's 
sneak up into the bathroom here. I don't know if that sleeper sound is from another sleeper inside of here. Guess we're going to find out, right? Okay. Check the sinks. Got a wrench. That's good. That might even be better than the wrench we currently have. Sounds like we just got the attention of a spider. So, where's this coming from? Oh, outside. Alright, you know what? We're not screwing around. We are not screwing around anymore. Wherever that, uh... Zombie is... Didn't we kill you, or are you a new one? No, we did kill the other one. So I remember seeing the XP down in the lower right corner, so that's a new one. I'll bet you one of those at least was uh, the one that was up on the roof, because that was a cheerleader that was up there. Does this work? Nope. Uh, nah, we're not taking that. Alright, so... Did we finish looting in here? I think we did, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just poke our head... Uh, through here. We need to make another land claim, too. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's just drink that and get rid of that. Get rid of that and that. Normally, I'd keep that stuff, but we don't have the room right now. Okay. Yikes. Army dude. Okay. Uh, that's a spider. Kind of scary. We're going to put this down and then aggro the army dude. I suppose all that crap's going to be in the way, isn't it? Uh... Oh, okay. Guess not. Let's uh, go ahead and give him some... Uh, put that down there. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get a three for. Spider down there? Yeah. I thought I heard a spider. Die, spider! I thought I heard footsteps out there. Junk turrets are useful things, aren't they? It almost sounds like that zombie's on outside. Okay, let's just go. I think they are. Oh, the front door's open. Oh, there he is. All right. Come on, homie. Okay. Let's go get that front door blocked. I don't want a Larry coming in here. Okay, I think we're clear, guys. I think we're clear to loot. Let's check this first. We need to eat something. Let's buy this. Let's buy that. And that. We're just going to buy all the food. Buy it and eat it. Oh, we're kind of low on cash flow. I thought we'd have more money than that, but I guess... We've been using it, haven't we? That's okay. That's what it's for. 
Okay, so that should get our stamina cap pretty near all the way back up, and then that yucca juice smoothie that we ate is going to give us some nice buffs for 15 minutes. Excellent. Okay, let's, uh, let's loot. Wow, look at that. Whew, okay. Let's check those suckers out, man. Um, let's check these guys out. So let's let's do the pistols first. So we'll take the mods off of here. And the green one is actually worse than the yellow one. Well, it's in terms of damage, which is the main thing. It's a little bit better in everything else. But not enough to give up six points of damage. Uh, and they both have the same mod slots, too, so we'll probably end up just selling this one and making a decent amount of coin off of it. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll, con we'll continue to use the yellow pistol for the time being. Now let's compare AKs. So we'll take uh, the mod off of here. And the green one is quite a bit better than the orange one, and it's got an extra mod slot. So that is a nice improvement. I only have one mod that'll fit in there for now, but uh, we'll fix that later. Okay, and then the orange one will become our secondary, because it's, uh, uh... Oh, you know what? It's not better than this, uh, this brown one here. This one has more capacity and more ranged. Okay, well, um, then we will continue to use this as our secondary. <sighs> that's... That's borderline worth selling. I mean, considering the fact that we are so over encumbered, we got so much shit that we got to haul back to the trader at some point. Um, and I already have some parts here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just scrap that guy. Okay. Ah, it's kind of too bad the green one wasn't a little bit better, but it really doesn't matter because they both have the same mod slots. And I mean, six more damage is, is better than, you know, the, the small improvements that this one has. So, yeah. But we, we will, we'll make some decent money off of this, though. So it's definitely worth taking back uh, to sell. Beautiful. And we got a full stack of 7.62s and a full stack of 9s and then some. So this has definitely been uh, worthwhile to come in here. And we're not done yet. We've got a couple more to do as well. So let's check. Um, we already looked at that. Let's check these. All right, another AK and more ammo. Beautiful. Let's see, what, how do these two compare? All right, the new one has three more damage than our current one, plus the fact, uh, but it does have six less in the magazine, but I think I, I still would rather go for the damage, so we'll scrap this guy too. Uh, incidentally, we need to reload this. Pretty nice improvements for where we're currently at in the game. I can't complain. Okay, let's check these last two boxes and then we'll do the safe. Um. Yeah, you know what? I don't think so. I think we're going to leave all that. We should actually look, though. Yeah, so we've got... Or let's compare these two. Let's compare these two. So, um, that has 12 heavy... This has 13. That's got 17 effect resist, though. Yeah, let's stick with, with these. Let's stick with those. I mean, it's it's kind of almost a wash, really. Okay, a cooling mesh mod. That'll be helpful for our desert endeavors. And then finally, we have the safe here. Another yellow shoddy. All right, let's compare it to our current yellow shoddy. You know, this smaller store has actually been more profitable than the big store was, which doesn't really surprise me. It's kind of the way it goes sometimes, huh? All right, which one of these is better? The new shotgun does two more damage. The rest of that stuff is not 
important. So this now becomes our new shotgun. I'm going to hang on to this one, though. I'm not going to scrap it right now. Um, just because we might we might be in a situation where we want to put two shotties on our toolbar as well. Uh, in fact, we could even just do that right now, really. It's not a, we need a toolbar with more space. <laughs> um, I was watching somebody play a mod very recently. Can't remember who it was or what the mod was, but that the mod added more slots on the toolbar. All right, guys. I think that does it for our uh, our little shotgun messiah shopping trip that we've had in this episode. And we are, of course, out of time. So the plan's going to be that we're going to go back to... We're going to go back to our Dropbox. I'm going to drop all this stuff off. Buzzard Horde. Lovely. I don't think they'll bother us as long as we don't, uh, you know, get injured. I don't think they will. We'll see. Anyway, yeah, we're going to go back to the Dropbox. We're going to drop off our extra shit, and then we're going to continue working towards the the desert biome that is still our overriding goal even though it's taking us like four episodes to get there <laughs> all right guys so i'll meet you in the next episode and we're going to set off north in a northerly direction we're going to try our best not to loot any more pois but i can't promise you that i won't <laughs> and uh, we're going to look for that uh, desert biome and get ourselves a bunch of oil shell and the reason we're doing that of course to get gasoline is so that i can then come back and mine the crap out of stuff with our auger in doing that, we're going to get a ton of resources, and we're going to get some levels out of the process, too. So that's the plan. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.